Hi Leah, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Brie and today we are doing your mid-January and end of January love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So in this reading we're going to be looking at how you both are thinking and feeling about each other and the challenge that you're facing now. So let's go ahead and let's get started and let's see what the most important messages are for you guys. So of course, as always, please do make sure that you are subscribed before you go so you get more of my videos. Keep in mind this is a general reading so it's not intended to resonate with everyone and do make sure that you check the description box down below for info on my private readings, my daily readings, and the link to the extended. Alright, so most important messages for Leo. All right, guys, so your overall energy, we have the seven of coins, how you are thinking, we have the three of coins, how you're feeling, we have the empress, how you feel about the connection, we have the lovers, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, and the challenge for this last part of the month is the three of swords. Now, for them, their overall energy, we have the tower how they're thinking about you, we have the two coins, how they are feeling about you, we have the five of coins, how they feel about the connection, we have the nine of coins, and their challenge is going to be the knight of wands. So bottom of the deck, we have the four of swords. So with you having the seven of coins and them having the tower, this definitely is a time where you both are needing to take a moment, take a break, step back from the situation, and kind of look at it from an outsider point of view. Also spend time getting clarity and getting guidance from the universe, from God, from your higher self to figure out, you know, what is the next step going to be or what do I need to be focusing on right now? We have the temperance card underneath this. So I feel that, you know, there is a lot of, there's a lot of healing that needs to be done on in the individual level. You both individually have things that you both need to, to work on and things that you need to spend time with and things that you need to understand about yourselves. We do have the six of cups underneath this as well. So I also think that in this time of, you know, healing and meditation and getting clarity that there is going to be a lot of thoughts about the past, about what the way and how things used to be. And I feel like that also is very important for the healing process as, as well, for understanding why things went the way they did with you. Okay. So like I said, your overall energy is the seven of coins. So right now, you're just trying to figure out what you want to do, Leo. You know, there's likely a lot of things in your life that have, that have changed. You know, with the lunar eclipse being in your sign, there's probably so many things going on and so many things to think about and so many things that are up in the air. And you may not fully know what's ahead of you. So I think for this last part of January, the best thing to do is to just take a break. Like if you've just been working super hard, if you can just take a break, take some time out, you know, go and get some time for yourself, that's really going to help you. For them, they have the tower, okay? So they have had a huge change happen in their life. This could be physically, there could be physically something different going on in their life, but I feel for a lot of them, this is... This is a mental shift. This is a mental change. They've had a really huge understanding about something and I feel like there may be things changing in their life and the reason that the tower comes out for the change is because number one, it likely was an unexpected change or it was a change that's happening that they just never in a million years would think that would happen to them. 
And also I feel that the change that is happening, it's in it's happening in order to put this person's life in a better direction because the direction that they were going down probably wasn't one that they really wanted to go down. Like maybe at one point in time they wanted to do that, but I feel like they've changed and they've they've evolved and it's just not going there anymore so the universe basically had to step in and make the change for them that's what I feel so for them the way that they are thinking about you we have the two of coins so I feel that their life has kind of been like it's been put into check like I said with the like divine intervention, whatever that thing was, it kind of was helping to put their life back in order. And now that their life is getting back in order and it's getting back to where it needs to be, they also want to get back in order with you because there might have been something that they were focused on that wasn't good for them. It wasn't right for them. It wasn't where they needed to be looking at. And I feel like now that that situation has been dealt with, they're now able to look at you and go, hmm, okay, like, I, w I need this situation in order to. I want to see, you know, what is really here for me with this person. For you, you have the three of coins and how you're thinking in general. So for you, you know, you're thinking about growth. You're wanting your life to go to the next level. You're trying to, to take things up a notch. You know, you are really focus on the future. You may be planning a lot for the future, putting things in order or taking the next necessary actions now in order to get what you ultimately want. And the way that you are feeling, we have the Empress. So you are first and foremost, you know, very focused on yourself. And as much as you want things in your life as much as you want to build, you're also taking it easy. You're taking it slow. You're not just like going after what you want. Maybe that's normally how you are, Leo. Maybe you really just like go for what you want and you're just really, you know, um, fiery and, and all of that. But I feel like you're kind of taking a different approach here. You're kind of saying, okay, I'm going to take all of this action oriented fiery energy and I'm going to put it in on myself and I'm going to work on myself and I'm going to grow and build myself. And as you're doing that, you're likely seeing that life is being given to you. People are being drawn to you. Situations are being drawn to you. Money is being drawn to you. So that's where you're at. And maybe last year, you were opposite. Maybe last year you did go at things. You did go at people. Maybe you went at this person and now you're like, mm -mm, no, I'm just going to focus on myself and I'm going to allow love to find me. So with that being said, I feel like this person feels that they feel you like withdrawing your energy off of them and they feel you putting it on to you. And this is making them feel, you know, left out. This is making them feel like, I kind of feel like it's making them feel like they've like missed their opportunity or they've missed the chance or, you know, they're too late. They, they can't get in now. I kind of feel that they are, yeah, it's like they feel like because of the situation, like, they know that because of the situation, because this is where their attention was primarily placed, they now know that they may have, like, missed the boat with you. But what they also, like, maybe don't know or don't understand is that this is what's best for you. You know, this is what's best for you and that they're honestly going to have to put in more effort and put in more work in order to be able to be on your level. Okay. But right now I feel like they feel that, like they don't feel like they can do it. Like they feel down or they don't have enough like self-confidence or self-worth in themselves. So, you know, the way that you feel about the connection, we have the lover's card. So I feel like the way I see this is that you definitely have a choice to make here. 
I do feel that this person is important to you. I do feel that you feel that you have a spiritual connection with them. You feel that you, you know, have a, um, you know, you have a really special bond and maybe you do see the whole picture with them, but it's like when you come into the present moment and the right now, they may not be where you need them to be. So that's the choice that you're having to make. They have the nine of coins and how they feel about the relationship. So I feel like for them, they feel that or they know that they need to get right with themselves. They need to work on themselves. Like this tower situation, the easy thing to do would be for them to run towards you. And I feel like that's their initial instinct is, okay, something in my life happened. It's hard. It's difficult. It's changing. Let me go and try to work this thing out with this person. But you may be saying, uh, no, that's not what's going to happen. You need to work that situation out on your own. You need to get through that by yourself. And I think they also understand that too, is that they need to get, get through that by themselves. Or they know that, you know, maybe with the state that you left things in, that you're not available to help them. You know, maybe they really have, like, left you out in the cold. And maybe they really have, you know, not included you. So now you're moving forward. So for them to come back, they know that they've burnt that bridge, that that's not possible, that they're going to have to do this by themselves, which ultimately is a good thing, okay? So the challenge for you is the Three of Swords, okay? So you, right now, you know, this may be challenging, this may be difficult, you know, it may seem like, you know, okay, I'm finally in a good place. I'm finally moving forward. I finally know what I want to do. And then all of a sudden, now this person wants to come back forward, you know, that may like kind of really, like, that may really hurt your feelings that may like, uh, make you feel like, like this person doesn't really see you for who you are. They don't really see you for like, or they didn't in the past, they didn't really see you for who you were. So I feel like that's just kind of what you're going to have to deal with is, is them not, like if this person is coming back around and they're like maybe wanting to talk to you now and, or they want a second chance, it's like, why didn't you see that the first time around, you know? And then you having to make the decision and the choice of, you know, how do I proceed here? For them, their challenge is the Knight of Wands. So I feel like with whatever is going on in their life, they don't know how to do it. Like, they don't know how it's all going to work out. They don't know where the cards are going to fall. They don't know anything about it. And I feel like that kind of makes them feel self-conscious, them not knowing anything about it. And I feel that that's another reason why they want to come forward to you is because maybe you help you help to make them confident. Maybe you give them encouragement and you give them support. And that's kind of what they're needing right now is they're needing support and they're needing encouragement. But, you know, you're just, you're on a different level, number one, you know, and you may not be freely giving out that support and love to people who aren't giving you that same support and love. And I, I sense here that this person has not been giving you that same support and love. So it's not, you're not, you don't want to give it to them, okay? So that's what they need to work on. They need to work on, you know, being more self-sufficient and they need to work on working on, you know, they need to work on their confidence. They need to work on, um, they need to be able to, to face challenges and to, um, yeah, they need to be able to face challenges on their own. So that's what they're working through. So. Leo, I hope this reading has helped you. I hope this has given you some clarity and some insight into where things are at right now because I know things must be very, very um, different for you guys with the eclipse. So if this message has been resonating with you and you want more, click the link down below, get the extended reading. If not, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.